Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Remember that Excel Academy is currently offering online and physical classes. Please, don't forget also to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are going to be posting as many classes as possible. Please, click on the subscription button and also on the notification button. So, in today's class, I'm just simply going to explain to you on how to rationalize the denominator. Let's quickly go down and solve a few questions. So, I'll quickly look at the examples. So, write examples. Okay. So, please follow me well and please make sure that you have a pen and a pencil. So, our first example is rationalize the following. Rationalize the following. So, when we talk of rationalizing, we just simply mean that we are getting rid of the sats on the denominator. When we talk of rationalizing, we just simply mean that we are getting rid of the sats on the denominator. So, we have been given these few examples so make sure that you follow up the class so the first example i have is that let's say you have three over square root five plus square root two three over square root five plus square root two so the first thing i'm going to write is i'm going to write solution so when we talk of rationalizing, like I said, we are getting rid of the denominator. So since our question is 3 over square root 5 plus square root 2, the first step that we are going to look for or what we are going to do is we are going to find the conjugates. We are going to find the conjugates of the denominator. Okay, so the conjugate of the denominator is just simply square root 5 minus square root 2. So we just change the sign in between. So we are going to multiply this conjugate by both the numerator and the denominator. So we are going to multiply the conjugate by the denominator and the numerator. So like we have done here, we are just simply multiplying the numerator by the conjugate and also we are going to multiply this same um, conjugate by the denominator. So after doing that, you are going to remember that when you have such a scenario for the denominator, this simply means that this is a difference of two squares, okay? Because the signs are different. So the only big deal is you to multiply that by that. So we are simply having three open brackets square root five minus um minus square root 2 like that over so this is a difference of two square so this simply means 5 square root 5 squared minus square root 2 squared okay so that's what we simply have so after doing that the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to multiply what is on top by by 3 we're going to multiply what is on top by 3 so we're going to say 3 times that it is 3 square root 5 and then minus this times that it is 3 square root 2 over because square root 5 to the power 2 is simply 5 minus square square root 2 um mod, uh, squared is simply equal to 2 so from that, you can simply see that we have 3 square root 5 minus 3 square root 2 over 5 minus 2, which is simply equal to 3. And then we can simply work out this value by separating them. So we can simply say 3 square root 5 over 3 minus 3 square root 2 over 3 what are we having so 3 into 3 we know it is 1 and 
3 into 3 again it is 1 so what we have is just square root 5 minus square root 2 so this is the answer for our first example so our second example is also easy and straightforward so just make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel so that you don't miss out so let's quickly look at the second one so the second one is square root 3 minus 2 over square root 3 um, minus 2 square root 5 so we are rationalizing so like i said the first thing you're going to do is to multiply everything by the conjugate of the denominator so the conjugate of the denominator here is simply equal to square root 3 minus sorry plus 2 square root 5 okay and then over the conjugate of that is the same as square root 3 plus 2 square root 5 okay so after doing that we are going to multiply the numerator so the numerator is simply equal to square root 3 minus 2 brackets open brackets square root 3 plus 2 square root 5 so after having that what we are going to do is the denominator is just the difference of two squares so we are going to have square root 3 squared minus um open brackets to square root 5 squared okay so knowing that we have that so what we are going to simply do next is just to work out the numerator so we're going to multiply this by that which is simply equal to 3 this by that which is going to be plus um 2 square root 15 please if you don't understand this point make sure that you go back and watch the previous video which i made on simplifying the signs then this times that is going to be negative 2 square root 3 this times that is going to be negative 4 square root 5 okay so with that being said we're going to have a situation of this this to the power 2 it is 3 and that to the power 2 is 4 that to the power 2 is 5 so 4 times are uh, 5 it is just 20 so negative 20 down there so after having such a situation what are we going to do next so it's very easy to work out at this point we just simply look need to look at do we have any like terms do we have any like terms if at all we have like terms we need to work on them and if at all we don't have any like terms then we are going to leave it the way it is because there is no need of working on something when we don't have like terms there is no need of working out on anything if we don't have the like terms so from here we simply have 3 plus um, 2 square root 15 minus 2 square root 3 minus 4 square root 5 over negative 17 okay over negative 17 so this is our answer if you want you can leave it there that's your answer but if you want you can multiply the numerator and the denominator by negative one you say times negative one times negative one to get rid of that negative so if you do that you're going to have something like negative three minus two square root 15 plus two square root three plus four square root five over 17 so this is uh, our answer for that question so let's also look at the third one let's say you have been asked to rationalize let's say you have five over square root eight so for you to rationalize such a question here you don't need to look for a conjugate instead you are going to multiply by square root eight you also multiply this 
by square root 8. So once you do that, you know that you're going to get rid of that square root of the denominator. So that times that is simply going to be 5 square root 8 over 8 because you know square root 8 times square root a is simply equal to a so this is our solution for that answer so more videos will be uploaded on this and please make sure that you register with excel academy please make sure that you register with us and join the excel family so to get in touch with us you can simply WhatsApp us on positive 26 or 9658878474 or you can also WhatsApp us on positive 26 or 9748406 thank you very much for joining me this was Dr Possibility from Excel Academy have a blessed day